In this tutorial, I will show you how to add custom CSS to your Zomix WHM CS template. Using custom CSS, there's no limit to the customizations you can make. For example, changing fonts, colors, spacing, and more. All of our templates include a built-in custom CSS file, which is kept safe from updates. To start, access File Manager of cPanel or use an FTP account. We need to head to the CSS directory of the Zomex theme, which is under Templates, Template Name, in this case we are using Prosper, then the CSS directory. Within the CSS directory, you will see the file named custom.readme.css. Start by renaming this file to custom.css. This file will now be automatically loaded within the template. CSS added to this file will also take priority, allowing it to directly override existing CSS used by the template. All of the default CSS used by the template is found in layout.css. Let's go ahead and open this file to view all of the CSS. This file consists of many sections, the first being CSS variables, which are found within the semicolon root selector. These variables are used to define commonly used values such as colors. We can override either of these variables easily using custom CSS. To begin, open custom CSS. Create the starting root code. Now we can head back to layout.css to find some variables to customize. Scroll down to the default colors. Here we have some of the default colors used by the template. Let's copy the color body. This is the default color of text used throughout the template. Copy this line and paste within custom CSS file between the two curly brackets. Let's change this value to red as a clear example. Save the file and refresh the template to see the change instantly applied. Let's look at the container width variable. This is the maximum width of the website container. Copy the line and paste within custom CSS as before. Let's change this value to 1500 pixels. Save and refresh the website and we can now see the container area expanded to match. Another easy change to make is font size. The base font size is defined one time throughout the template using the variable text size. Copy this line and paste within custom CSS. Let's go ahead and change the text size from 1.6M to 1.8M. Save the file and refresh the page to see the increased font size applied across the template. This shows you how to override CSS variables. We can override any CSS within layout.css. As an example, let's look at the header section of the template. Search layout.css for header main. This is the class used by the header. Copy all of the code and paste within custom.css. As this CSS is not a variable, it needs to be outside of the root selector. Let's go ahead and change the background to green. The padding sets the space at the top and bottom of the header. Let's increase this from 7 pixels to 15 pixels. The border adds a 1 pixel line below the header which is displayed between the menu and banner. Let's change this value to none to remove the border altogether. Save the file and refresh the front end to see all the changes applied. We can also test our custom CSS live. Right click the website and click on inspect. 
click on the Style Editor. This will show all of the CSS files used by the template. Find custom.css to see all the CSS we have applied. Let's remove the lines one by one using this tool to see our customizations being removed. This shows more clearly how each line is overriding the default CSS. You should now have a good understanding of how to use custom.css to override default CSS within the template. For the final part of this tutorial, I want to show you how easy it is to replace the primary color of the template. Let's clear custom.css to set the template back to default. Next open layout.css and find the primary color section. This controls the orange throughout all elements of the template. Copy and head back to custom.css. Create the root selector and paste within. Our guide shows how each of these values are used within the template. Let's use green for the background. Set the border to white and leave the rest as default. Save and refresh and we can see all of the old orange elements have now been changed to use our green color scheme. For extra design points, we can also set up a gradient using two variables of the green color. Let's copy the green color, open up Photoshop and use a slightly darker shade. Set it as the bottom gradient. Save and refresh and we can see the change applied. You can follow the same method to change the secondary color scheme and even all of the default box element colors. This video is brought to you by Zomix. At Zomix we have been providing premium WHMCS themes and configuration services since 2009. You can view our full range of themes and services in the description below. Save 10% on your next order using the coupon code YouTube. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to ensure that you are notified of new videos. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider making a small donation to the channel via the description of this video. Donations are much appreciated and will allow us to increase the quality and frequency of videos.